Winter, Winter is coming! coming! Welcome to Miss Trinity Treats. I'm Missy and today we are recreating that devastating moment when Viserion was reborn as an ice dragon melting the wall separating the White Walkers from the Seven Kingdoms. Hey guys! What's up Jon Snow? My nephew, whom I'm dating. <laughs> As you all know, I lost my beloved Viserion to the White Walkers. So tragic. Alright John, so what's your prediction for the very exciting yet final season that we've been waiting over a year for? I think you and I will unite our kingdoms, get together, and your two dragons will defeat the Ice Dragon. Their brother. Yes. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's begin on this tutorial. I first began by making the topper. I have created this printout for you to use if you would like, and I will link that up in the description box below. After cutting it out, I used the template to transfer the dragon onto black fondant. I gently remove the excess fondant and very carefully lift it up the dragon to flip it over. I wanted to make sure that the dragon kept its form, so I lined it up to my template and began working on the support stick. I started out with this bamboo stick and colored it in with a black food grade marker. This will help conceal the support when I go to stand the dragon up. I didn't go all the way down because that part is going to be pushed into the cake. After laying the stick where I wanted it, I brushed on a line of piping gel and laid the stick along that line. I left it for a bit to allow it to get a little tacky and cut out little holes in his wings to mimic the damage he sustained during the fight. I added a strip of black fondant over the stick, pressing it into the tacky piping gel. So I left this out overnight to allow it to harden completely. You can use gum paste instead of fondant. I used fondant. It worked just fine. Just know that if you do use fondant, there is that possibility of it breaking. Since we already have the bamboo sticks out, I decided to create the blue stream of fire that the ice dragon shot out at the wall. I just wrapped blue fondant around the stick and rolled it out to smooth everything out. I've already stacked and crumb coated my cake, but I have some tutorials to show you these steps in case you're new to this. We will leave links to those tutorials down in the description box. I used light blue as a base for the wall to mimic snow and ice. Speaking of the wall, I created it using candy melts. I just melted the candy melts, which I also have a tutorial for, lined a cookie sheet with parchment paper, and then poured my candy melts onto it. The wall in the show has these ripple lines, so I wanted to recreate that by dragging my spoon through it. To speed up drying times, I stuck my pan in the freezer. Once out, I began breaking pieces apart. I tried to keep them about a little taller than the cake. That's not to say that I didn't end up with smaller pieces, which worked out just fine as well, because I just added them a little differently to the cake. First, I placed the larger pieces on, snugging them together as much as possible, and then for the shorter pieces, I just added smaller pieces in the voids in between to fill them in. So I did end up using two bags of candy melts instead of just one so that I had enough pieces to go around the entire cake. You can just alter it depending on your size of your cake. Right? It's a great idea. You don't talk much, do you? No. I'm very serious. Sorry. Okay. As you were. I'm extremely serious. <laughs> Can't you tell? My painted on beard. Your painted on beard is hot. Thank you. It matches your... Painted on hair. My fake hair, my fake beard. Your awesome wig. <laughs> I love this thing. For the flames hitting the wall, I needed something solid to attach the stick for the stream of flames. So I formed one Rice Krispie Treat with some pointed sections and then covered it with blue fondant. I ripped small sections to mimic the smaller flames. I used one of the lower parts of the wall as a guide for placement and stuck it right up against it. This is supposed to mimic the wall melting. My See? poor wall. <laughs> yes. Be ready. Be ready. I added Viserion and then gauged the distance from his mouth to the flames with my blue fondant stream and cut it down to size. I pushed the stick into the pile of flames and attached the opposite end to the mouth 
and top of his wing. To really complete the look, I dropped a few dots of the same color frosting as the cake to the base and sort of swished it upward with my offset spatula. I used a toothpick to drag some of that frosting along the stream and then added a little blue frosting eye. And that's it! That's how I created this Game of Thrones Ice Dragon aka Viserion cake. I had so much fun creating this cake for you guys and hope that you liked it too. If so, please give us a big thumbs up, if not for the cake, for his awesome costume. And yours. Well, yeah, but the Sharpie beard really, Sharpie set, beard. Right. really sets it over. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so you are notified every time we post a new video. I love you guys, and I will see you next time when we make another trendy treat together. Bye, guys. <laughs> John Snow's pretty hot. Thank you. I got to agree with that. Auntie. <laughs> Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the White Walkers. I don't like the White Walkers. They're so mean. No. Especially the Night King. Mean. I don't like him. With this. He, he hurt my baby. <laughs> <laughs> we will leave. Mm. Excuse me. Left that. Oh my gosh. Gum paste? Yes. Boy, you're good. Yeah. Gum paste. It's been a while since I did. You're squeaky. I know, every time I move, I'm afraid to move. <laughs> the washer. Ding, ding, ding. So, <laughs> didn't end up with smaller peach, <laughs> smaller peaches. <laughs> My smaller peaches. I added the Siri on and then get... Siri. Siri's mad at me. No. Hi, Jen Snow, my lover who I'm dating. No. <laughs> <laughs>